designed to keep an invasive species out of Colorado waterways this summer. Yeah, last year we told you a test came back positive for the quagga mussels at Green Mountain Reservoir. Hope I said that right. Reservoir is located between Silverthorne and Kremlin in the high country. Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Krosel shows us they are doing everything they can to keep those mussels from taking over. Green Mountain Reservoir is back open for the season, and that's good news for boaters, but they're going to notice some big changes out here as officials work hard to make sure a nuisance species can't take hold. Quite a few calls, people wondering when we're going to open up. Uh, not too different from normal. Um, you're just going to have to exit decon. Or you're going to have to wash you out one if you're going to a different reservoir. Brand new, shiny and powerful decontamination machinery in place, ready for the summer wave of boaters at Green Mountain Reservoir. So this is what they eventually do yeah. if untreated. Jordan Miller runs the Heaney Marina and says boaters will notice the rigorous boat inspections out here after Green Mountain tested positive for quagga mussels last year. Oh, it's definitely serious. We don't want the zebra mussels or quagga mussels uh, contaminating our lakes and damaging boats and damaging infrastructure to the dams and causing a lot of headaches. These quagga mussels are from an infestation in Lake Mead. It's a two inch PVC pipe they're covering and goes to show why officials are working so hard to keep them from spreading to Colorado lakes. Um, they haven't found anything uh, more after that first test. Um, but they'll continue monitoring for the next three years. Scientists are checking the water in this reservoir every two weeks to make sure they don't find any more of the quagga mussels. Reporting in Summit County, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.